This rhythm can kill in seconds. Do you know what to do if you see VTAC? Well, ventricular tachycardia is a wide, complex tachycardia. It's usually about 150 beats per minute or higher, and then it comes from the ventricles, not the atria. So you're not going to see a P wave, and it's going to look really wide and scary. Step one, we're going to check for a pulse. Don't guess. Feel for a pulse. Actually give it time. If there is a pulse, we're going to determine if they're stable or unstable. Uh, if they are stable, maybe some amiodarone or lidocaine will help. And if they're unstable, we're going to go to a synchronized cardioversion right now. What if there isn't a pulse? Well, we are going to uh, consider this a cardiac arrest. We're going to start CPR immediately and get the pads on them to shock them. If they're pulseless, don't wait. Defibrillate. This is not a synchronized shock. It's full energy, unsynchronized, and it needs to happen now. Remember, if it's wide and fast, we're just going to assume it's VTAC until proven otherwise. This is especially true in post-MI or cardiac patients. VTAC doesn't give second chances. You need to recognize it and react super duper quick to this one. All right, y'all have a good day. Let me know if you have any questions.